A baby has lodged itself unnoticed in her stomach, and if there's one thing that Raquel knows, she doesn't want it. The life-hungry young woman has a blooming imagination and spends time illustrating her everyday life, hence the ninja baby that appears as a comic figure which accompanies Raquel through the madness that is called Growing Up. This is a delightful movie that just played at South by Southwest. Amanda, what did you think about Ninja Baby? I was like shocked by how much I enjoyed Ninja Baby. Yeah. Like I, I can be kind of weird with uh, resonating with certain stories that have to do with people being pregnant and having kids and stuff. Um, but <laughs> this was just art. Right, stop laughing at me. Um, it's just that sometimes they're not handled particularly well. Um, but this was Agreed. just like I, I saw this described as like knocked up if you switch the roles so that like she was more like Seth Rogen's character than <laughs> Catherine Heigl. And I kind of get that, like that vibe like a little bit. I like that. Cause I think that this did uh, just, just a, a lot with somebody realizing something so earth shattering and having to kind of come to terms with the situation in general and what's going on. But it was also like very, very funny and very creative. Mm -hmm. Like there's this entire aspect where she's an artist and uh, draws a lot of like cartoons and, and comic characters and stuff. And her way of processing a lot of this almost like kind of personifies some stuff that's going on with her art in a really cool way. I, I just uh, I, I really liked it. I liked how she interacted with the people around her. I, I just liked how she was just kind of one of these like just painful not painfully herself but just kind of like completely herself kind of characters like they were down to let her just make the kind of joke she's going to make and the comments mm -hmm. she's going to make uh they didn't try to like soften her in any way uh i, totally. I really uh, i really liked it yeah and it's also still very heartwarming too like there's some like really good emotional moments in this like and it, and it ends on a, on a fairly emotional but positive note i yeah i really i was surprised by by how good it was and how many beats it hit I, I liked how creative it was. It's quite funny in parts. I, I was surprised with qu quite how often it made me laugh through, as you mentioned, it's got some of these very creative animations where she's talking to the baby, but there's also these quick flashbacks and occasional fantasy sequences. You know, it's a it's a movie that is a little bit ADHD in its presentation. There, there's good banter mm. between the characters, like mm -hmm. you were mentioning, the, the dynamic between her and her, her roommate friend, something like that, I yeah. think it was really fun. And there's all these like modern references. The, uh, there's uh, the Angelina Jolie thing that we referenced at the top, there, or, or that we were referencing in the side, South by podcast. There's the uh, Mamma Mia uh, the Mama reference Mia in was, terms of her baddie, funny. baby daddy situation. <laughs> yeah. It's just uh, there's a lot of fun lines. Uh, the, the character Dick Jesus and stuff like that. <laughs> I just it it was consistently creative and funny and unexpected, irreverent in ways that I wasn't expecting and. As Amanda mentioned, I think there's also just a, a really interesting element into how they handle her her sudden motherhood. Are, are, what did you think about her whole like journey into accepting her situation? I thought it was hilarious because she's literally just just wants to go about her day. The way that they uh, go about her is that she doesn't shower. She do if she doesn't feel like showering. She doesn't feel like showering. She's just chilling. I I yeah. think that was the perfect comparison to be like, what if she was what would quote unquote be the dude in the scenario? And I think mm -hmm. they play with a lot of those aspects of it because even with the Dick Jesus character, right? That name alone, you already know what that character is. And they still surprise you here and there when you start to get to know that person. She also mm -hmm. has uh, the other guy who um, goes with her to go get checked. And they, they mm -hmm. even have their own emotional journey that they go on in terms of their kind of shared interests that they start building upon. And kind of defining what what a female in this scenario would re how they would react, how a man would react during this, and kind of showing you, you know, in a film that it's not always what you think that it's going to go. And uh, I think that was one of the more enjoyable parts, as, as well as the fact that they worked with a uh, graphic novelist, because I don't think it's mm. based off of an actual graphic novel, but it's kind of like inspired by a graphic novel. And then that graphic novelist kind of did the drawings that you see come to life. And uh, those are always interesting because she's like arguing with the ninja baby who's obviously not yeah. there, but it's yeah. kind of happening. And I think that was a motif that we all liked uh, in, a, in a couple of other movies as well. The protagonist kind of having text around her and arguing with what's really in her head. Um, and I thought they did that very well. I didn't read the plot description going in. 
and we had just come off of watching Pleasure at at Sundance, directed by Ninja Theinberg. And I was <laughs> I was I didn't want to get my hopes up. It's another Scandinavian product, and it, I thought it was going to be Ninja Baby, but then it was Ninja Baby. That was an exciting twist for me. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, uh, something that I, I really appreciated about this movie is uh, even though there is this whole journey into becoming a mother, I think similar movies maybe do a little bit more of a miracle of life approach and like a, a be, uh, an accepting of your role as a mother and coming to love your baby in that way. And I, I like some of the aspects of Ninja Baby that kind of averted that. I, what did you think about how yeah. it handled that whole situation? No, I, I really agree with that because I, I there is always, it's a, actually it's like a huge issue worldwide that people just assume you're the mother. So you're going to be the caretaker and you have to be the caretaker. But sometimes like dads feel more like parents than, than the person who's birthing the child. Like some people just aren't designed to be parents or moms. And it's mm. not a lack of love because you can tell that by the end, like, you know, she loves her baby. It's just a different aspect of that. It's just not the life she wants for herself. And I think it's a good thing to admit that because I know a lot of people who ended up with parents that they could tell didn't want them. And I'm not saying that that means that they should have been put up for adoption or something, but it's just if you have a parent who's more wanting to be the parent, I don't necessarily always think that you should like push people into those roles if it's going to react, if it's going to be worse for the kid in the situation. It is. And uh, I, I liked the fact that this movie was kind of like really forward in, in that in that area. And that even though she was like, this isn't something for me, she still very much cared what happened to the child. This wasn't just kind of like a not F that kid. It was I care so much about what happens to this baby. And that's why I know I shouldn't be the one to take care of this baby because I'm not equipped for that. Yeah. So I, I, I really I did like that aspect where they were kind of like willing to make that change, willing to allow somebody else to kind of have the like come to Jesus moment where they're like, you know what? I could be a really good dad and I want to be a really good dad. So like, let mm -hmm. me, let me do this. And it doesn't matter if you want to do it with me. And I, I, I really did appreciate that aspect. And it's not one that you ever really see, I find. So yeah. yeah. I mean, just that, that level of gender commentary in a very funny comedy, yeah. I think is rare to come by. Mm -hmm. So it, it's something that I definitely appreciated about this approach. Tonally, the film reminded me a little bit of Obvious Child, the, the Jenny Slate mm -hmm. uh, abortion mm -hmm. comedy from a few years ago. And obviously there's like a, a different connotation around Obvious Child, but it's that irreverent nature, that kind of like dirty, crude edge underneath what is really heartwarming sweet movie ultimately that that made me think of that film although there might be more going on in this movie that i like i'd mm -hmm. recommend charter for y'all i don't know if y'all got to catch that one yeah. that was a submission from the oscars it played at a couple of film festivals kind of plays in that yeah, same got that at sundance oh you did catch it all right then you know exactly yeah. what i'm talking about then because it's that yeah. same dynamic of the mother being the mother but not necessarily having to go and do the exact role that you know Right. Not being maternal. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that there's a lot of movies that are covering that. And I think that uh, in particular here, Ingvild, I hope I'm saying her name correctly, did a great job at uh, showcasing that in a comedy. Because usually you see this in dramas and it'll always come off heavy handed just because it's a drama. So to play mm -hmm. it off in a comedy and, and seeing, uh, you know, these characters, these people live gives you a different connotation. You know, to actually see it on screen showcases uh, a different perspective to people that usually isn't shown. Yeah. Yeah, you shouted uh, Ingvild Fike, the uh, co-writer and director, but also shout out to Christine Thorpe, who who plays Raquel and I think is mm -hmm. absolutely Great hilarious job. in this role. Yeah, yeah uh, really pleasant movie. I'm hoping more people catch this one uh, once it's a, once it's eventually available. 